what is happening y'all welcome on back uh, so I've been thinking a lot about what to do and what I think I've settled on is like I still like my meat cleaver of course uh, but we made the Kirk hammer blunt uh, the damage is very close as you can see 400 to 413 um, I'm gonna work with the Kirk hammer for a bit just because it's a cool weapon and then when I can I will upgrade to brand which I think out of the ones we have tried I think brand kind of uh i think it fits better for what i am trying to do so that anyway um we are gonna go to this bonfire and we're gonna try try something here i knew i know i'm gonna need to go down and uh do all the the undead stuff and demons and all that jazz soon but i want to basically i'm gonna work backwards through this place and try to open up access to the Grey Rat quest. <laughs> You're so adorable. I think it's just because he has this big old armor on his, his little body. It's funny looking. Oh my god, Pursuer's Gauntlets. So is it like every time I kill him, I get another piece of his set? Dude. Increased damage against hollows by 15%? Sign me right the fuck up. They don't really fit, but I'll wear them. They look good. I would rock the Pursuer armor. I would totally gark the I hope the next time. See, now, shit, now I want to go everywhere because I'm like, where's the pursuer going to show up? I got to beat his ass and get the goodies. Kirkhammer's bigger than this, right? I feel like this looks small. I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining it, but I want to say the Kirkhammer is like maybe 10% larger than this. They call me Poise God. Damn. Sit the fuck down. Alright, I I severely underestimate this thing. This is I was sleeping on the Kirk Hammer. This is very satisfying. And actually, I can upgrade it now with that twinkling. I was one twinkling short of making this a higher tier weapon. Gotta make it holy. That's disgusting. Like, this makes me want to go back and do Bloodborne. I haven't done Bloodborne with the Kirkhammer in so long. And it's such an amazing weapon. Like, I remember the first time. I think my fondest Kirkhammer memory is fighting, uh, what's her name? El Elibidius or whatever. I remember I, oh my god. I remember I brought the Kirkhammer, though. And I ended up just absolutely annihilating the boss. And everyone was like, what the fuck is this? And I was like, yeah, that wasn't bad at all. And then, like, I went to fight her with a dex build, and it was significantly harder. And then, like, people started looking into, like, code, and it turned out it was because she had, like, super, super low blunt defense. And so using the Kirk Hammer just allowed you to obliterate her. Like, like you could just instantly stagger her, basically, and just do a ton of damage. And it, in a sense, it trivialized that entire encounter. And ever since then, I've always been like, you know, I want to go back. So I know for the when the DLC came out, we uh, 
We switched up when we used the Whirly Gig Saw, which I want to say did have better scaling. Um, but despite that, Kirkhammer, I think, still did like more poise damage or something. I don't know. Kirkhammer just claps. And right here, it is performing very, very admirably. I wasn't sure how I was going to like this, but... Becoming a literal poise god is pretty fun. Gotta say. know what what weapon has this moveset like naturally that like really big lower swing like that like that's nice actually isn't that jump oh that's there right. that jump up is where i just came from um let me go get that real fast I don't remember there being anything I would need on this run down there, but who knows. Irithyll's such an awesome zone. Like, in retrospect, how the, the cathedral is, like, one of my... Um, least liked zones I think um, it's right here there we go um, I think that Irithyll is probably my most liked zone in Dark Souls 3 there's just something about it you know the, the snow the enemies Pontiff being a great boss fight It's like good variety in the, the encounters you have here. changed at all. Same item. trying to think how far I need to go for Grey Rat's quest exactly. I think I need to... I don't know if I want to just send him here and then murder Ponty real fast. Or if I want to, like... Oh. Well, I can't because I don't have the doll. And the doll is over there. Let me check to see if I can even send them here, because I may have to go through the whole, uh, um, go through the catacombs if the bridge is still the trigger, which I feel like he probably didn't change that in the mod. Oh, and in one piece. You can as... You can as... I think we're going to have to. Quick 
Critical spots are reinforced with metal. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna have to. And stay safe. Oh, this place. Might as well do this real fast. Damn, everything. Alright, now this sword is clapping though. This this officially should put this ahead of this. 284. 425. Alright, so this Kirk the Kirk Hammer is is Kirk Hammer's coming to play. It's here to clap cheeks every day. Uh let's see. Get rid of some of this crap we got. We're not gonna need the meat cleaver anymore. I love you, but you are no longer necessary. Uh, so, catacombs it is, I guess. So I'm gonna have to go through there. Well, I guess I could, I could go up until, yeah. You know, hang on, no, no. We'll, we'll see, cause we already started doing Aerithel. It would feel weird to like, Start Irithyll and then back out. So let's work our way through Irithyll. We'll open up the gate, the shortcut to Pontiff. And then that way we can go through Catacombs, send Grey Rat here. Um, I can confirm that our buddy is. Um, our buddy, we can confirm Sigurd is where he should be. And basically, the game plan here is we'll send Grey Rat here. And then teleport here and just murder Pontiff. And that should trigger his quest complete. At which point I get the stuff I need to use my new fun time smashy smash weapon. Which, while also a great hammer, very different style of great hammer. You know, this is very much a uh, zug zug weapon. Just smash, smash. Um, oh yeah, like that. The other one is more of a, you know, AOE progression style weapon. So Kirkhammer could very well still be in the mix as a uh, something I'm using for the majority of this playthrough. God, the first infusing essence. Which with that, I could finally upgrade this shield to either... Let me see exactly what it's going to do here. Um, ah, I'd want to... Let me, let me pull up the, the thing. Uh, Cinder's wiki. Infusions. Uh, infusions. Uh, not weapon infusions. I want shield infusions. Okay, so... Riju reduces stability... Oh, shield stability. So Riju is 15 stamina recovery. That's basically... Um, same as uh, Greengrass Crest. Res Restoration is 3 HP per second. Pretty nice. If I did that... So how much health do I have? Because if I did, if I wonder if they'd stack. Because if I did restoration, I could do, I could do uh, three HP per second, and then two HP per second. So that's five HP per second. And that's five. So that would be 10 health per second coming in. That sounds pretty OP. 10 health per second? Um, let's see. Uh, greed is 10% more souls, so that's a waste. And respite is 10% equip load. So the real question here is, do I want the heal or equip load? Because 10% equip load on... Unlike this guy, you know, this this only weighs two to begin with. 
Um, that's solid. Actually, I might even, I think the one that Grey Rat sells might even weigh less. Yeah, like, small parry buckler. But, like, the only reason we have this thing on is for the extra souls it's giving us. Which, in theory, I could probably just say screw it and get rid of that now that I have, uh, now that I know just how many souls you get from fighting bosses, it kind of seems redundant, right? Ten health per second. That does have a very paladin-esque feel to it. But that does weigh more. But it, I'm at the well. <clears throat> at the same time, the extra weight is like it's enough that I could probably offset it with like one point in vitality. Oh! Maybe not worth it. But at the same time, I am playing a beefy boy. And every bit of equipment load I can get is... More equip load is heavier armor. Heavier armor is beefier me. Oh, what the fuck? Crystal Lizard should be behind this one. This one. Poor thing. Valor Heart. It's early Valor Heart. the wait where did it go you know what let me I don't I don't I, I don't need you on anymore there, there was a giant here like five seconds ago right I'm not crazy where the f where how does a giant just disappear The good old meowers. I am 
so in love with the lack of mobility restrictions. I think that might be one of my favorite parts of this. Oh, you're the one from the bridge that jumped down because I skipped you. are hitting fucking hard hey small doll with that I should be able to activate the quest line but we might as well look and see if uh, Sigurd is over there Because I'm curious, I want to see just how much this healing is. Because this would be... Oh, I need something to hit me. But this would be five health per second already? No, wait, five, this should be... I already have, f I have five from the blessing, and then two from this, so this would be seven. Bonfire still here. Yes, it is. Excellent. Because I've been, I mean, I've been looking at this weapon for a while, thinking this is going to be my new thing, but now I'm really enjoying Kirkhammer. And I feel like I need to, I need to fight with this and actually, like, Get a feel for it. Is this something that I'm going to vibe with? Good bit slower than Kirkhammer, but even though it's weaker right now, this thing feels like it's beasting. And let's be honest, that's just fucking delightful for when it does happen. You know, I think I figured it out. The reason I think I'm enjoying this mod so much more is this mod allows you to, like, the amount of souls I have. Wait, excrement covered ashes. Is, aren't those gray rats? They're gray rats are the poop ashes. No, they're not. That can't be. So I never even sent them here. Um, but yeah, I have, this is, this is like having a new game plus build and new game almost. And on one hand, yeah, it does like I'm steamrolling stuff, but I think a part of that is the build that I am running. Pilgrim Splatoon, Sp Spontoon, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a little spear. Um, 
You know, like, there, there have been encounters where enemies have done some work. So it doesn't feel like, oh my god, you know, mod's so easy. But I think it's the fact that I'm able to get, I'm able to, to farm up, whether it be a boss fights or whatever the case is, I can farm up the souls to like, finally start putting together builds that are good and entertaining on the very first run. Whereas typically with Dark Souls, the standard is, you know, you get to New Game Plus, and then, hey, congratulations, you made it to New Game Plus. Now your build finally is together and, and it works and, it, you know, all the puzzle pieces are here. Like, to an extent, it almost feels like this mod takes... It takes that whole progression scheme from like new game to new game plus and almost condenses the entire thing into the new game experience. Ornstein Spear? Oh. I was thinking Tracers, Spear, Hammer. Figured it'd be like, you know, the, the Knights. But. Ah, you suck. Two hundred and fifty eight thousand. That's a lot. See right now though I'm counting on that health regen and it really ain't I ain't coming in all that well. Ah What are you doing? Are you the giant from earlier? Did you just teleport your ass over here? God, no. No, sir. Hmm. Alright, I need to... I want to get the fucking shortcut. I'm so close. I'll come back for you, Mr. Giant. That's really nice, man. Being able to just be like, boom, and do massive explosion thing. That's dope. Okay, well, you're seeming a little uh, rude, but how? Screw you, lady. I made it all the way over here. You can't kill me. Oh, crap. Oh, did Diagro? Or is it just stuck? you're stuck. First thing is first. Crossing that bridge is supposed to be the trigger. 
And since that thing dropped down and gave me the doll. I should be able to go this way. Yes. I want to I wanna cross the entire bridge just in case that has something to do with it. And then I'm going to homeward bone out of here. That we should do that. Let me um, put this on. Put this on. I'm liking our new hammer, but we definitely do need to level that thing up. Ouch! Sucks to be you. Sucks to suck, as they say. Porcelain, Lord Blade, Lord Blade. We'll have to check out all that later. Let me run up here. Just going to see if how this works going from behind. Can you even do anything? Is it just like a locked room? Can I open this from this way? I cannot. Understood. Excellent. All right. Um... 31 minutes. All right, this episode is going to be a little bit extra. Because I just want to do this before we, we close out. Um, do the, the serious thing. I want to do this, and then we're going to wrap up. And I'll check with Grey Rat back at base before the next episode. God damn, this thing is a poison. Oh no, Cretan! Yo, you dumbass rolled into a backstab. Oof. Oof. Thank you for your kind assistance. Oh Please man. Upon your journey. That is oh god, that, that hurts to watch. Rolled into a backstab. Alright. On that note, we're gonna wrap things on up. Um We will we'll check. We'll check with the check with dude real fast let's look let's take a look um because next episode would be basically I, the, what i would want to do is i'm going to send gray red here and then go straight to beat pontiff's ass holy mail and silver cat silver cat is excellent to pick up are you ready for irithil buddy oh this is the what do you think Mm, I am Grey Rat. <laughs> I am. All right. Goodbye. So now I should just have to go there. Yeah, we should be set. Anyway, all right. We will handle this in the next part. Y'all stay tuned. And I'll see you soon with more Dark Souls 3 centers.